Good morning, everybody. So this morning we just left camp and we are making our way into Cottonwood, Arizona to meet up with a friend of mine that I met while hiking in Sedona over the weekend. We actually did share the same campsite a couple times, but last night he had to go take care of a few things, so we went our separate ways for a bit. But we are meeting up again this morning. He's been traveling the country in his Prius, sleeping in a tent. So over the weekend, we actually did some slight modifications to the inside of his car so he could have a little bit more storage underneath the rear floor, a cooking area in the back, which also helped convert into an extended sleeping area so he could stay inside of his car. So we'll check that out today. But the two of us are gonna go check out Jerome, Arizona. You can actually barely see it right up on the hillside there, but really cool little mountainside town. And there's also an old ghost mining town there that we both wanna check out. So welcome along on today's adventure. Hope you all enjoy. Here he is, Guy and his Prius. What's up, brother? What's up, what's up, did all you, good. Did you get everything you needed in there? Dude, everything is in there, amazing. Prius camper on its way. We're gonna show you guys out later. You ready to go run some more errands? Yes, All right, dude, let's do it. All right, so me and Guy are up in Jerome, and we're gonna show you a little bit around his ultra affordable Prius camper conversion before we go get a bite to eat. Oh yeah. You wanna show him around a little bit? Sure, so what we did, we figured out I need an extension for my head right here. So me and Max built this little piece of wood that fits on top of my box of all my food and my stove, and that way I can put my sleeping bag and sleep like that. You can show them inside. So you can Perfect. fit in there lengthwise, but you'll probably sleep at a little bit of an angle yeah, to fit in there a little better. Just to fit a little better, but it's super comfy. Um, and then that same piece, I'm planning on building a nice little kitchen over here. So it has those two Velcros, super strong Velcro that goes on here and planning on hooking this up on here and using my uh, poles to hold those two little holes. Your trekking poles. My trekking poles. Um, and I'll show you how it works. Let's do it like this. And what did we spend, like 50 bucks at Home Depot? 50 bucks. And this, this was scrap wood that yep. they give away in the back. Yep. Ultra affordable. All, all you Super. bought was plywood, and I had most of the hardware. Yep. So, we just so adjust, those are adjustable, so you can always have it level. Adjust the trekking poles. This is super stable. You get. My box with all my food out. And you get my stove out. And we've been cooking on this for the past two nights. Yeah. Works perfectly. Super nice. Yeah. Goes to show how much you can do with a tiny car. And you were just doing a tent before. So you were outside yeah. every night. Yeah. So, and then I can cook here. My plan is to add another board right here so I can cut my vegetables or do Where, whatever right I here? want to do. Yeah. Just to grab it on this one. So you'll have a little countertop area. Put some lights in here, lights in here. Nice, dude. Yeah. And so you're I'm, you're traveling around for a couple months around the country? I'm I want to take about a year actually. Yeah. Nice. So this is a great upgrade in sleeping in my car. Yeah. And I didn't have a table before, so here you go. Using your trekking poles and some some wood and scrape wood. Not bad. Yeah. And then you have So now you have your instead of setting your tent up every night you have that all in your backpack so you can sleep exactly. at the trailhead and then in the morning you don't have to set anything up you just fold this all away grab your stuff and go exactly nice super easy very comfortable awesome dude yeah dude goes to show that oh yeah what do you need 
thanks you, to this guy. You don't need a big van. You just yeah. need a little tiny car. And we, we looked on YouTube and saw yeah. a conversion that someone had did with one of these and just mimicked it. Yeah, we, we were just talking about maybe making my car like a camper type of style. And Max just said, you know, open YouTube. Somebody probably did it, and we, we did. Nice. The day after, we're already converting this car, so it's awesome. Yeah, it came out awesome. What do you say, you wanna go grab some lunch? Yeah. We're not good. gonna cook on this today, we're gonna go get some real food. Oh yeah. Nice. <laughs> Thanks guys, yeah. Little camper, little tiny Prius. All you need to get the job done. Oh, and under the bed storage. Oh, we totally Flip forgot. that up really quick too. Dude, look what we made out of there. Forgot about this part here. Because it's so slick, we forgot <laughs> about it. So we also added underneath the carpet here. He plans on doing some styrofoam cutouts probably to add some really organized storage, but right underneath where his feet go, where the spare tire is, we added a piece of plywood with just some scrap wood legs underneath it. And yeah, yep. lift that up. And that's all the storage. And Extra. that was all over the place in the car. Yeah, all those stuff were just all over the place and I just put them in here and I have like a little compartment, like a very slick. It's very stable, very nice. Nice. With all the, those two carpets, it doesn't look like there is anything underneath it. Super simple, affordable. Yeah. Nice, dude. Good job. Let's go chow. Let's go do it. <laughs> always tough saying goodbye to friends that you meet on the road because it always feels like you've known them for your whole life but anyway we had a great day in uh, Jerome Arizona had an awesome lunch and then we went to check out that ghost town I was mentioning which I'm gonna just run a bunch of clips of that at the end of this video so if you like old trucks and really cool old equipment you definitely want to check that out but great day I am making my way down a forest road now Ooh, cattle guard so the cows don't escape making my way down a forest road right now gonna find a place to camp take it easy for the rest of the night and be sure to follow guy on instagram i'll link his page down below so you can follow his um journeys also he's a very talented musician he's actually the drummer of the julian frampton band so that's something that you should definitely check out as well but thanks a lot for watching today thanks a lot for coming along thanks for liking commenting subscribing we hit 125 subscribers today so that's amazing Thank you all very much. Have a great day.